senior national security analyst, the former acting director of national intelligence and former U.S. ambassador to Germany, Rick Grinnell. Ambassador Grinnell, good to have you with us today. Nice to see you, Bianca. You know, something that that woman said just struck me, and I think that it's not just in Atlanta. It maybe is echoed across the nation. She says, we don't care what the media says about you. Uh, we support you. And I think it is a lot of the big media, the legacy media, that has been sort of exposed through all of this, through uh, Bragg's novel case, through Fonnie Willis, and, you know, what we've learned about her hiring her lover and, and wasting these taxpayer dollars. A special grand jury that couldn't indict, then a grand jury, they make him get a mugshot. And look at the people here. They want the shot today hugging him. Um, it's been foiled yeah. every turn, Ambassador. Yeah, look, I, I thought the, those pictures today were just really remarkable. It really shows just how out of touch Washington, D.C. media, uh, how, how all of them uh, are just out of touch. Uh, we see constantly the truth versus what they push. And, and, you know, I'm somebody who gets attacked by the media constantly. Donald Trump gets attacked. Lots of conservatives constantly are attacked. But I think the narrative is falling away. When you look at that scene just now uh, in Atlanta, you see um, groups that have traditionally voted Democrat completely coming over and rejecting the Democrats and saying, I'm with Donald Trump. We've, we've got a real problem in the media. We talk about that a lot. Uh, but, uh, you know, from my standpoint, in terms of foreign policy, I see the same thing. The media, you know, are literally saying one thing about the war in Israel and the war in oh. Ukraine, and the facts show something yeah. else. They sure do. Uh, we want to play a little bit of something Biden was saying on Univision, uh, talking about immigration, talking about the border. Um, here's what he said just last week, but it's making news today. Have you made a final decision on taking executive order uh, in terms of what you want to do at the border? That includes the power to shut down the border, as it was suggested. Well, it suggested that. We're examining whether or not I have that power. I would have that power under the legislation when when the border has over five, uh, 500,000 people, 5,000 people a day mm -hmm. trying to cross the border because you can't manage it. Slow it up. There's no... There's no guarantee that I have that power all by myself without legislation. And some are suggesting I should just go ahead and try it. And if I get shut down by the court, I get shut down by the court. But we're trying to work that work through that right now. It's propaganda. I mean, it's gaslighting. It, the delivery aside, which is not great, um, we know the reality. We've talked about this on this program before. They want to get these people here. They want to now start pushing, allowing non-citizens to vote, Rick. Uh, the fact that we are here in this nation with national security threats uh, from all around the globe uh, coming in through our southern border, and he continues to sit there and make these comments— Latinos who are watching Univision, who know their families waited years to get in legally. There's no way that he can be selling this message anymore. And we saw in Atlanta, the black community there, they're also abandoning him. Two major groups. And this is even before we get into, let's say, Michigan and uh, the Palestinian folks. Look, it's infuriating to watch that interview and watch that Univision reporter just sit there. Yeah. Shame on him. I don't know who he is, but we should make him famous because he's a bobblehead. He's literally like nodding his head as Joe Biden is lying to him and to his viewers. Shame on him for being so silent. I thought reporters were supposed to speak truth to power. I, th I thought that they were supposed to challenge. He should have interrupted in that moment and, and say, well, why was the border so much better under Donald Trump? Why can't you do executive orders? Why did you cut the wire down on the border. Remember Joe Biden and, and his administration yeah. were cutting the razor wire to make it wide open. Why, yeah, they why is your DOJ pretending like we don't see the facts? 